welcome to another episode. We've been travelling in our zone now constantly for four months since we uh, left home at the Gold Coast. We're currently in Western Australia and we thought after nine months of ownership we might have a look at it and see how it's going, how it's performing. So we're just going to have a quick look around outside and inside and we just point out some of the features we really like and also some of the little minor problems we've had along our travels. And the big question answered at the end of this movie, how much do we like it and uh, would we buy this van again? So let's get started. Starting right up the front, the DO35 uh, coupling, really like this and uh, as you see when we're uh, stopped anywhere we always put the special locking pin in it to uh, prevent someone uh, easily hooking it up. All the umbilical cords that uh, connect between the uh, caravan and the car all working really well. So we're out in the middle of South Australia we did have a problem with the jack stand wouldn't go up and wouldn't go down so uh, we couldn't uh, take it off the car or put it back on. I ended up using the uh, jack for wheel replacement, the jack up the front to get it off the car and get it back on. Contacted uh, Zone by email, they got back to me within a day. I asked him if it was something that we could repair. He said no, most likely the pivot gear inside has failed and you'll need a new jack stand. So he said just give us an address and we'll post it out to you. So uh, we asked for it to be forwarded to uh, a place in South Australia. We actually booked into a caravan park so we could get it. Uh, and it arrived before we did. So when I looked at the old uh, jack stand, I pulled it apart and in my opinion there wasn't enough grease in it. All you need is a screwdriver just to uh, leave you that up and then you can see down inside. And then what I found was there was very little grease inside here. So when I popped this lid off the top of the new one, I found the same problem. There was a dollop of grease, but it was more up in the corner here rather than being on the gearing. So I bought some uh, marine grease and applied it uh, liberally. And now it's all greased up properly. This works beautifully. Really like the galvanised chassis. Very well engineered and uh, a gusset for strength where it's raised at the front. Continuing our walk around. Front toolbox we really like. Big volume space. Plenty of room on the top to mount whatever you want. Uh, we put firewood, uh, we actually put our hoses in this red bag at the top. Uh, we use it for rubbish, we put that in bags and put it on the top. So very handy this box. Nice long slide. Uh, got all our setup gear in here in two boxes. Very easy to access. We were watching uh, Lifestyle Pioneers when he was going through his van and uh, he said one of the little issues he had was the front toolbox was filling up with water. So I thought I'd better come down and check mine because we'd had two or three days of very heavy rain and to my surprise our toolbox was full of water as well. So what we found there was a small weld that had been missed on this corner and when this tray filled up with water in here the water would come out of here and follow down through that hole and just once water starts flowing it would just keep on flowing so it flowed through there. Fairly quick fix I just went and got a tube of black silicon and I've siliconed this up on both sides and that's fixed the problem up. We really like this centre drop down table. It's a workbench, we use it as a uh, kitchen. It's got uh, power, 12 volt, and our air suspension controls here. All easy access and it's a good height to work on. Triple sealed so the dust stays out of it. I love using the drop down table as my outdoor kitchen. And what's really good is I can use my Thermomix and my induction cooker out here. One of the main reasons that uh, interests me in this limited edition base, it came standard with air suspension. And this is fantastic. We can level the van, we can lower the van. Uh, it rides beautifully on uh, dirt roads, bitumen roads. We can uh, set up our height and we've also got an air out facility that I can use for airing up all the tyres and it coming with uh, enough air hoses that it reaches the uh, four wheel drive as well. Good feature on the back is this uh, tube carrier. 
which I use for my fishing rods. It does have a small problem I'm going to have to get them to uh, look at at the first service. The seal that is around here has actually uh, started perishing. It's a, a manufacturer's um, issue with the box because I've talked to other people with these boxes and they're having the same trouble that they leak in heavy rain. I just put insulation tape around here for now and uh, I'm sure they'll sort it out on my uh, annual service. While we're at the rear, love the ladder. I can get up and check the solar panels and uh, I've got an extendable pole. I can actually clean them while standing on the ladder. Purchased this protected cover from spare wheel covers in uh, Perth and Western Australia. And uh, we have a lot of people coming up asking if they can uh, borrow my map to uh, see where they're going. So it's actually a good way of meeting people. I really like these tunnel boots. You can fit everything in there. Tables, chairs, anti-flappers kits, all our goodies, room to spare. And on each side, there's a light and a 12 volt outlet. And that all came as standard. The other good feature is this triple seal. One, two, three. A little bit of dust gets through the first one, but the second one, nothing really gets through. And this box stays dust proof completely. And another big plus, all the hatches are keyed the same. One key fits all. Another good feature at the front is the jerry can holders. Really like them. Uh, very secure. Can't get to your uh, jerry can. And you've got a locking system here. And they're very lightweight and adjustable for different size cans. I made a slight modification to the mud flaps. This is the mud flap that used to be on the rear of the van. So I've made up some bigger mud flaps and installed them. Uh, more protection for the steps and a lot longer and wider than the original ones which is adding a further protection. So this is really stopping the uh, stones and mud uh, flicking up on this front leg works really well. So moving inside. Now stepping into the interior, plenty of space. This is a great van to live in full time. We're all very comfortable, including Shadow. Also near the door, we fitted a, another fusion suction basket. We can put uh, Shadow's lead rope and we have a little brush so we can brush our feet off as we come in. Just keeps it all off the floor. When you come to the door, you've got the uh, black switch which turns your 12 volt on. And these two switches which are for the uh, outdoor lighting, white and then yellow. But there's no interior light switch here. It's down the other end of the uh, cupboard. Great kitchen, plenty of bench space, just one small issue. At one end we've got uh, plenty of power. One power point here, another power point above under the cupboard, and the cupboard above another double power point. So that's six outlets down this end of the kitchen. But at the other end where uh, we also uh, use 240 power, there is nothing. So not only do we use the induction uh, cooktop outside, we also uh, mainly use it inside for cooking. So we've had to run a lead along the back of the beach, but the cook has made a request. She's requested a power point above, and she said uh, while I'm at it, you might as well put in a two-way switch there so we can turn the lights on when we come in the door. So it's always a good idea to keep the cook happy, so she got what she wanted. We've got a double power point plus a two-way switch for the lights as we come in the door. Problem solved. So one of the first mishaps we had was the microwave. We did break the microwave, we accidentally turned it on with a packing towel we use inside and totally cooked it inside. So we went to better stores at a small town and uh, found an exact match, a Panasonic which was ex the exact same size as the one that was there. We did have to uh, drill out the pop rivets that were in the uh, bracing fittings and then we just uh, used uh, some self-tapping screws to refit it but came in as a perfect fit. And while we got this cupboard open we relocated the fire extinguisher. It was in the back of the cupboard under the sink and we felt it was a little bit hard to get to in an emergency. The bush for the fridge we've been uh, really happy with. The only small problem we have with that was the door hinges dropped. And so what we noticed, it was uh, getting difficult to close the doors, but it was an easy fix. It was just a matter of uh, adjusting the screws. So loosening the top hinge and loosening the bottom hinge just slightly, and then lifting the door and then closing it till it feels right, and then uh, just tightening them up firmly. 
And speaking of doors, the cook got blocked in the ensuite. The sliding door had actually dropped. To get to the adjustment screws, you've got to remove the pelmet over the uh, track. You have to uh, cut this silicon along the top, just with a uh, sharp stouting knife. And after you take the two screws, one out at each end, you've uh, cut the silicon. You can just uh, take this straight off. And then on the top track, this just has to be adjusted to uh, bring the door up. The door was actually dropped. And what's happened, this door has dropped down. This uh, thread has somehow come down, so you just need an 8mm open-ended spanner and just wind that anti-clockwise and that actually lifts the door back up again. And then put the lock nut back in place so uh, it won't slip again, hopefully. All fixed and I replaced the uh, silicon strip with an aluminium corner in case I ever have to pull it off again. The Tremor uh, combination room heater hot water system works really well but we did have some major problems with that when we first picked up the van. And what happened initially it wouldn't heat on gas. It'd start and about 10 seconds later it'd just trip off on a fault code. So uh, we contacted Zone, they uh, advised us to get the Truma service agent to have a look at it. Fortunately on the uh, Gold Coast, the Truma service agent was a mobile service technician and he came to us um, because he ended up coming out about five times, placed uh, several components in it and it still didn't fix it and then we all agreed that uh, the unit should be replaced. They're out of stock, we had to wait for about a month till we could actually uh, get one but then they've replaced the whole unit. Now I did talk to him and I felt there wasn't enough ventilation um, going across the unit. There's only a small vent at the front underneath the fridge. He agreed so I decided to put a uh, fan ventilation system in. So I put one small Sirocco fan at the front and that's controlled by a thermostat and also I can uh, turn that on and off as I please. Now that draws air from the uh, cabin in here through that vent. And at the rear in the ventilation hatch behind the fridge I've installed another fan. So this one is uh, mounted at the base of the fridge and it uh, pulls air from the uh, space where the heater is and pushes it up the ventilation hatch behind the fridge. So this compartment gets quite warm so with that ventilation fan system that pulls it down 10 to 15 degrees at least and uh, it's running a lot cooler. I have noticed on the later models after mine they've got two large vents on the front of this opening door. So the power system we've opted for here, 400 uh, amps of lithium, which is the maximum we could put in when we ordered this, 540 watts of solar and the 2600 watt inverter is perfect for our off-grid needs. We normally camp off-grid for about three to five days uh, and we're quite capable of running electrical appliances and doing everything we need. If you're looking at setting up a off-grid system, I would say this is the minimum size you would want to go for. Anything less, so I think you might uh, have a bit of trouble. So most times we would need, need a generator because uh, we've got 540 watts of solar on the roof and 400 amp hours of lithium battery and that does our requirements perfectly well. We usually camp off grid for about five days in a row, but when we're getting uh, two or three days of rain and cloud, um, we do have an insurance policy and I have installed a generator I'd already had on the last caravan. It's 2.4 kVA Yamaha, which uh, charges up the uh, batteries, and uh, we can also use it for other uh, electrical appliances. Really happy with all the cupboards and drawers. We found there's plenty of space, and for all these little baskets, which are really lightweight. I think you might have got these from Kmart. Same as the uh, pull-out pantry at the end of the kitchen, housing all our requirements and uh, easy to get to. Nothing falls out. Really like these big windows and you can adjust the uh, block out screen, it'll just sit there, it's uh, not spring loaded to wind back. So if you want the effect of uh, a smaller window up the top, you've got it. The other benefit of these windows, it's easy to clean the bottom tray. This little bottom cover just unclips. You can drop that down as a clip at either end and uh, you'd be surprised how many bugs and insects get down there. So you can just give that a vacuum. And when you finish, you just clip it back into this little plastic fitting at the end here. Another small issue was the um, end cover on the cafe dinette. It actually separated from here. Now I'm not sure as whether I come around the corner that I'd hang on to it as I was turning around to uh, step over shadow. But there was only some very small screws in there. So we ended up gluing that back on and that solved the problem. 
Another small issue, the gas alarm underneath the table keeps going off for what we can see is no apparent reason. I do pull the fuse in and out to stop it, but uh, we'll see if we can get them to change that over at our next annual service. TV bracket, we uh, swapped that out for a three tier bracket. Uh, a couple of reasons, it just pushed the TV out of the kitchen area. So as you can see there, we have full use of that bench at the end now. And the other benefit is if you do want to watch uh, something, which is usually on YouTube, it just brings us closer to the cafe dinette, which is uh, easier viewing. Had to order a whole new bracket. It doesn't come with just an extra arm, but I uh, bought that online and it wasn't that expensive. Fits into the same bracket on the wall. We really like that radio, very easy to tune and uh, the sound quality is pretty good. So very happy with that. Cutting board's a nice feature, but it does tend to get a bit of a bow on it. I think it's uh, made out of the wrong type of timber. Gas stove is good, but uh, most of the time we're doing induction cooking off the uh, batteries. We've got a single uh, induction cooker, we use it outside and inside. Gentlemen, when you're ticking the options box, make sure you tick this one. The magic bowl. It's a Kamek. It's in the bathroom. And all I have to do is put my dirty laundry in there. And magically, a few days later, it peers back on the bed, clean and neatly folded. Not sure how it happens, but it's just like magic. As if he doesn't know what the magic is. It only uses 18 litres of water on a short wash and very little power on a cold wash. The fusion suction fittings haven't moved since we installed them almost nine months ago and we've probably done over, at least over 10,000 kilometres. Some of the rod we put on the top just to uh, hang clothes and love the extractor fan on the top especially where you can leave it on all the time. Note if it rains it's just going to automatically close. It uh, helps dry out the shower cubicle. They do get fairly dirty after a while like most fans uh, and you have to pull them apart to clean it. So there's uh, five screws, there's four in the plate, and also one screw up in here. You have to remove those and also carefully unplug the uh, wiring loom that fits into the control panel here. And then that whole panel will drop down so you can give it a good clean. Just be very careful with that control panel. There's a ribbon that plugs into it. You just need to be gentle pulling that out uh, and you make sure that you do not get that uh, electronics wet. Water pump. Housed under the kitchen sink, we have had a few little issues with this. What it um, started doing was coming on and off during the night. It was like it was losing pressure and was just coming on for just a few seconds, but became quite annoying. Sent off an email to Zone, they got back to me and uh, with instructions on how to adjust the uh, pressure setting at the end of the pump. So following the instructions that were sent to me, I did try to adjust that pressure switch and I actually thought I had it right, but then that night it started coming on and off again. I contacted uh, Zone again and I said, I think I'm gonna go and buy another pump. So we're actually in Adelaide at that point in time. So I went to a caravan supplier and bought the same pump and that supplier said, these are a really good pump. It's very unusual to have a problem with them. So it fitted up the pump and it's worked beautifully. Uh, sent the invoice to Zone and they reimbursed me straight away. So on that side of it, they are really good. Matter of fact, any issue I've had, I always email off the service department and uh, they usually get back to me within 24 hours with a answer or uh, instructions on what to do. So I'm very satisfied with the after sales service. As I've said before in some of these previous videos, uh, in my previous life, before I was a uh, full-time traveller, I was a full-time electrician, ran electrical contracting business for 26 years. So it gives me a slight edge on how to repair uh, whatever comes up. And I think if you go to caravan for extensive time, you need to prepare yourself for doing small repairs. I haven't met a caravanner yet that uh, doesn't have a few problems. We've just had some other friends that have just purchased a brand new off-road caravan, also built in Queensland, not a zone, but a, another um, yeah, really good brand. And he's already compiled a list of uh, repairs that are required within the first few weeks of uh, ownership. If you purchase a van and think you're not gonna have any problems because it's brand new, I think you're gonna be very disappointed. So, uh, but I usually gauge a company on how they deal with the backup service and so far we've been extremely happy with Zone. Um, they're uh, at Richard at the service centre, nothing's too much of a problem and if you email the service centre they've always got back to me within 24 hours. 
the big question, would we go and buy this caravan again? And how happy are we really with our purchase? And the answer, absolutely. We love our zone and we're very happy with our purchase. And I would rate it nine and a half out of 10. Enjoyed this video. I hope you got a few tips out of it, and uh, we're just going to finish off with a uh, little bit of footage we've shot around the turquoise coast.